Other business RPC membership. Evidently, we took the vote the wrong way. Now, the selectmen, the board of select, I've, I intend to, I haven't moved yet, but I intend to have on our um, agenda a uh, motion to uh, remove us from uh, paid membership in the Rockingham Planning Commission. And my board wanted me to run that by you and get your thoughts. I well, totally disagree. I think I we should pay for it. I'd like to understand maybe why. Yeah. Where is it coming from? The, the only difference is that the Rockingham Planning Commission is one of nine planning commissions in the state of New Hampshire. Membership is not mandatory. There are 26 uh, communities in the Rockingham Planning mm. Uh, commission uh, section and not all of them I don't know how many communities are actually paid members in there but the only differential we are still entitled to services from the Rockingham Planning Commission but paid membership entitles you to the opportunity to vote and to pursue grants and so forth I, mean, I think Which that it's well huge worth it. To me, huge. It's huge. well worth the thirty-five hundred. Is it thirty-five hundred? No, it's oh, eleven. It's oh, just oh, under twelve thousand oh, dollars. Oh, okay. but, and but, we are. But if we got even one grant, if we if we were yeah. given one grant that was say forty-five thousand dollars. Depends on what the grant is. I don't know. My dear. Yes. I'm, I'm using this as an example. Yes, I realize if that. I just need a flavor from you. I, I intend to bring I'm this up on my board. to give you my flavor. But they just want to... This is a benefit of membership. Yeah, okay. That was done. That's they sourced the funds and gave us a grant. And did this You're board. not going to cheer me up by using that as an example, though, Tracy. That's only one well, example. No, I'm just saying, that's an example. <laughs> you asked for an example. Oh, no, I, I understand that. I understand that. I think it's well worth it if we can get any grants that are going to help plan the future of whether it be Route 1, the okay. town of Hampton, the conservation plan, anything at all that's going to the benefit this the town. The transportation district. All of them. The, all uh, of them. Yeah, the if we can get grants that will help us to do them in the proper way and, and to move fine. forward, then it's well worth the money. And I will communicate that to the board in your behalf. Thank you. And so but I'm, going to defer to, I'm going to defer to Fran because I think Fran's probably the longest standing member and the most um, He's definitely the oldest one on the board. He, um, what I know about RPC in the short time I've been involved for six or eight years, they are the conduit to all of the monies that might be available from the GOT, right. from the state. It's through the MPO. And so to Wait. queue that up, whether it's a bridge between Seabrook and Hampton that needs to be replaced or Exeter, or, Road. or Exeter Road, any number of major funding efforts that might be necessary, those folks are the ones that, while they are not the final say, the fact that they might support our little um, project is certainly, certainly worth any amount Other that we would pay them. Other than grant money, Fran, when is the last time we received money for the actual project? We just did this year. I, I did, well, we, we as a community, or you as the select board, decided to not go forward. The intersection of uh, when it comes to right. the rule yeah, one. I think that was a poor decision. Right? You, you think what? I think that was a poor decision not to go forward with that. But but the uh, money I, I was, was there. Well, but I mean, she asked for a specific project, and that was there very recently. Mm -hmm. They're involved in um, some other. Um, well, one of the one things that we or we, me, have been very interested in, and the Beach Commission very interested in, is the reconstruction of Ocean Boulevard. Uh, and we've been working road. very hard with the Planning Commission to get that on the on the list. Uh, that's a state road that goes through our community. I understand, but the, 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 the businesses at the beach right. are substantial taxpayers in this community. Right. Uh, that's an essential project, whether it's a state road or, or a town road. Mm -hmm. um, we at the Beach Commission as well just utilize their planning services to undertake a parking study at the beach, mm -hmm. um, which I think is it was very beneficial to the to the Beach Commission. Uh, a number of years back, uh, we received funding to do some bikeways on. Um, Winnicott Road, Exeter Road, 
which we as a community again chose to reject. Correct. Oh. No. <laughs> so I, I don't necessarily right. think that uh, okay. you know the, the commission uh, gets characterized as trying to jam stuff down our throats, and that's just not the case. We have asked um, them in many many instances to do stuff on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Another major project that's underway um, that the Beach Commission, again, is very interested in is the Route 1 and 101 interchange uh, reconstruction, relocation, and that really uh, has interest of, with the beach, with the downtown study, um, which larger commutation. We're, we're looking at potential for bus service. You mean uh, the intermodal? You know, Intermodal transfer station between, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the parking lot at, at the intermodal <coughs> lot in Portsmouth and the one in Newberry Port, Port are mm -hmm. way oversubscribed right. at this point. Um, so there's a whole variety of, and I'm just talking about transportation items. There's a mm -hmm. whole variety of other land use and uh, planning items that the planning commission. Uh, conducts on a daily basis and, and we draw on that on a daily basis. I Thank you. I wanted just a, a flavor of where you were coming from. I May did, I echo please. all of that because um, you know I watched us lose money for the improvement and extension of the bike path from Exeter mm -hmm. and the repaving of Winnicunit Road and all of that that we could have gotten for 20% of the cost. 650000 Yeah, it was a lot of money that we lost because we were not... I, I think that the problem it, with planning in general is that you only get out of it as much as you put into it. And if we withdraw mm -hmm. our money and therefore our vote in this process, mm -hmm. we get no more say. <coughs> The bike path was scheduled to cross the intersection at Route 1 and High Street. But there was no... And to go, there's no room for a bike path on High Street, and that's the most... Just stick your head we'll in the sand again. I know, yeah, look at that. That's a ridiculous That's thing. a detail. Because there's no room for it. Participation no in the planning process. There's no room on High Street for a bike path. You can't even park your car. Not without car. looking at it, there's yeah, not. There's no room on High Street. But we don't know until something looks at we it. We lost that money for the kids going to school projects. That's just been awarded to Portsmouth. And they're putting in sidewalks and all kinds of improvements. You can put a sidewalk in at one company. But the point is no, if we I'm don't participate in the process, oh. then we lose. If we don't like what they're saying, and right. that was what I heard said at the selectmen's meeting, yeah. that members didn't like what the RPC was coming up with right. therefore we should pull out mm -hmm. I think exactly the opposite is what we should do if we don't like what they come up with for an intermodal plan mm -hmm. at that intersection mm -hmm. we better have our say in there mm -hmm. we better have our representation there mm -hmm. we better have our money there so we can vote there mm -hmm rather than stick our head in the sand and say, we don't like what they're saying, we're going to pull out. We're here, we're part of this community. We're not in isolation, we're connected to all the other towns. Could you find out for us how many of the 26 towns in Rockingham County actually belong? They all do. They all belong? The, 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 excuse me, I will take one exception. The city of Salem, yeah. um, withdrew some years ago but I think that they so you are think the 25 remaining communities are all, are all paying paying yes, dues paying little, members little towns Kingston East Kingston Sandown okay. Hampstead on and on um, Salem withdrew because of their relationship with the 93 corridor so mm -hmm. it made more sense in my mind mm -hmm. to be part of the what is it the central New Hampshire yeah. Planning Commission um, yeah, that was window. Yeah, Wyndham. 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 So, yeah. Um, so th there are there are a number of good reasons to be associated with that group of people. They do a lot of good things for us, whether or not we take full advantage of it. 
Well, I will bring those thoughts back because uh, they certainly wanted a uh, <coughs> uh, flavor of the sense of Are planning. Are we board. unanimous as a board? Yeah, I think, Mr. Chairman, in fairness, uh, I know there are a few members of the public who would like to speak. Uh, I, sure. I would like to open it up to... Would anybody like to speak on behalf of RPC? Well, I'll start off and put a good flavor on it. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is the Planning Board and the Board of Selectmen are two independently equal mm -hmm. boards elected by the public in the town of Hampton. Mm -hmm. I don't want the Planning Board to be talking about and making decisions on things that the, that the Board of Selectmen should be doing. And I don't want the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. doing things that are reserved for the Planning Board. Mm -hmm. This is a planning function. They can put in their own line item in the budget for $12,000 for membership. And I don't believe that this is even close to being within the Board of Selectmen's realm of responsibility or interest. I think they ought to butt out and not address this at all. This is this Board's decision whether they need the assistance of the RPC or not. What their functions are, they do mapping, they do master plan assistance, uh, they, they have done uh, zoning uh, assistance studies for us. The number of studies we're talking about, the Route 1 corridor from Portsmouth to, uh, uh, to Massachusetts is, is one of the things that they've been working on for a couple of years. I've been working with them off and on on various projects for probably close to 15 years. Mm -hmm. And they do immeasurable good that if we don't have, uh, belong to them, Jamie is going to be so overloaded he's going to have to turn into quadruplets to even come close to what they're doing. They've got about 10 people up there that they put a lot of effort in here. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is they look at it regionally. Mm -hmm. I serve on the Coastal Risk and Hazards Commission, which is a state uh, mandated commission with 35 members on it. The idea is to plan for what's going to happen in the, way, in, in the event we have a, a storm damage along the coast. Well, the Atlantic Ocean does not stop at the Seabrook Line and the Northampton Line. We cannot plan for that independently. Every town on the seacoast of New Hampshire has a different need, and it has to be coordinated and balanced so that the right amount of money is spent in the right place and the right measures are taken in the right places. It's an invaluable service that we could never, ever, ever do on our own. Uh, I've spoken to Cliff Senate directly uh, uh, about the fact that there are now probably five or six different studies, some have been mentioned here, the Route 1 corridor, the Route 1 101 interchange, uh, the downtown study, How uh, the beach parking, the rails to trails, uh, and all of those. Mm -hmm. And my con biggest concern with that is they need to get up and take about a 50,000 foot look at it because they are so complex, each one of them, if they are not integrated, we're going to end up with disjointed projects where one is going to get adopted and yeah. inadvertently stop another one from being done. Yeah. So it's very, very important that that be done by an organization that is capable of looking at the big picture rather than the little picture. If we dropped out of the RPC, mm -hmm. uh, we would lose uh, any anything that we've uh, worked for on the 10-year plan. We would lose it completely. They are the vehicle designated by the state to funnel all of the highway projects through. And our delegation has worked very, very diligently to get, and, and along with John Nyhan, who, is, who has been there at all these hearings too, mm -hmm. to get Route 1A Ocean Boulevard upgraded. That is not easy. Mm -hmm. But it was said, the DOT commissioner said to me in a private meeting that I had with him, we can't do anything down there on Route 1A unless the Rockingham Planning Commission recommends that you go that it go on the 10-year plan. Mm. And we worked our butts off to get it on the 10-year plan, and it looks favorable that it may be included in there right now. Other things such as a bridge, there may not be funding there now. We may not get money back now, but if we don't show the federal government that it's important enough to be on our 10-year plan for the state of New Hampshire, we'll never get a penny out of the feds. This is, there are many, many reasons why the RPC is essential. And there are many, many reasons why the decision whether to keep them or not rests with this board and no other. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> John. I understand. I'm a fair and reasonable person. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This time around, I'm talking as John Nyan as the resident of, of, of Hampton, uh, but also uh, 
a member of a number of organizations that have worked either directly or indirectly with the Rocky and Planning Commission. I, I feel compelled that um, I need to say something tonight to, to this board, uh, especially after uh, hearing and reading uh, about uh, recent board of selectmen. Uh, members, certain members, indicating that uh, the RPC should stay out of our business and uh, they really don't bring any value to the town of Hampton. Uh, it bothers me. It bothers me for a lot of reasons. One is, a, as a resident of town, of, of having uh, public officials uh, making comments such as that without really anything to substantiate that. Um, all you would have to do is request uh, the document from our PC of all of the things that they have, in fact, done for this town. For this town. Um, keep in mind, their mission is to get requests from the towns in Rockingham County. Those towns then ask RPC for assistance. In all of those cases, there are 27 plus projects that have taken place over the last couple of uh, years that the RPC has given to the town of Hampton. Hampton Union Editorial was right yesterday when it said that the Board of Selectmen basically should not make the decision on whether or not the RPC gives add value to the town, but it should be this, this planning board. It's you people, it's the folks that are elected as members of the planning board that work closely with the planner and the RPC. You see firsthand the involvement that an RPC organization can, can provide to this community. I think it's, it's, it's also important, and, and I'm not going to, uh, because of time, I'm not going to reiterate some of the things that Fran has said, who's a great supporter of, of the Beach Commission, uh, Representative Rice. But there's a couple of things that I think are really important. When Board of Selectmen make comments about the value of a service, they shouldn't be just grabbing something from the sky. And, and, and feeling and making it a, an emotional or a personal comment. Because they're public officials. What they said that night was in the paper the next day, or shortly after that, and it was broadcasted on Channel 22. That was not right. That was not right. A number of different projects that the RPC has been involved in. But let me just talk about two that people probably don't even know about that the RPC was involved in. That was at no cost to the town of Hampton. The first one was they assisted the Hampton Safe Routes to School Committee, which assisted in grant application and development, mapping and parent surveys, and held community meetings so that the parents of school children could have an understanding of safe routes to their schools. That was just one. But another one that I think is really important that the general public probably doesn't even know, and I wish some of the selectmen knew about it, because they should have. It's a program called TASC, T-A-S-C. RPC, RPC provided the first support of that program, writing grants for transportation advocacy for senior citizens here in the Hampton area, and secured $55,000 in United Way funds and then an additional $116,000 in federal money to help support that. This was all done by RPC staff at no cost to the town of Hampton. Those two grants alone, to me, is well worth a $12,000 uh, donation uh, from the town of Hampton. And the other thing, too, is one, one member said that this is a, uh, a duplication of services. Jamie is one person. All of the different things that the RPC has done for this community, Jamie himself could not have done. So it is not a duplication of service, but it's an enhancement of the planning that has to be done for the town of Hampton in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, um, um, yeah, anybody else from the public wish to speak on this? Uh, Seeing none, I, I, I don't disagree with John's comment that comments that get made that are unfounded, um, it kind of diminishes the value of 
RPC, anybody who reads the Hampton Union from a different community, all of a sudden a flag goes up and it starts to starts to create a problem that doesn't need to be there. Oh, geez, Hampton's having a problem with RPC. No, we're really not having a problem with RPC. RPC is a fine service, and so to just take an offhanded remark and, and let it go into print, I find very unprofessional, um, and I'm not willing to... Um, is the money to for the Jews in the planning board budget? Yes. Yep, I think the budget committee... It's in the planning board. It's... It's in the current the budget that was budget. agreed it's in to. The it's planning in the board budget that the selectmen sent to the budget committee. No, 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 but I'm saying is this is incorporated in the actual planning board section of the budget. Yes. Yeah. I just didn't remember. That the selectmen reviewed and mm -hmm. transmitted to the, the budget committee. Did the budget committee Mark? make you yank that out? No, no. I don't think so. No. No. Okay. Go ahead, Mark. Just like uh, a couple of years back, we, we, were, we did that workforce housing survey. Now, there's no way Jamie could have compiled anywhere near the information we got that provided the ratios that we needed to, to get to. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, yep. All right. Um, if you could take that back yeah. to the board, please. Yes, Comments. I will. Oh, very good. I will. Unanimous. And they can all watch. Unanimous. Um, no, they can all watch Channel 22. Watch Channel 22. Here. Do you need a vote? Do you no, I'll wait here. Oh, we do? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll wait for a motion with you. <laughs>